What's <coughs> up? Woo! What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a good day. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's up with the cough. Uh, kind of got a little phlegmy last night. I don't know. So, anyway, sorry to, for the rude awakening. But um, anyway, today just kind of like a quick fun video, really. Um, talking about seeing animals. <laughs> like, you know, just, I've noticed as of late, I've seen like animals that I'd never ever see before and the frequency uh, that I'm seeing them is like uh, really <laughs> a lot interesting, like way more than normal. So um, anyway, I'll just roll through some of the ones I've seen but then I'll end on the one I think is the most interesting. And uh, yeah, so basically, um, you know, I live in suburban Texas, really, outside of uh, Dallas, so it's not like I'm in the wilderness or anything. I don't really get to see animals like crazy all the time or whatever, but um, you know, they're here and they're there and whatever, but um, you know, some of the ones that are more Texas oriented are, are possums. I've seen a lot more possums as of late. Uh, the other day I saw a raccoon, and seeing a raccoon in daylight is extremely rare because they're like nocturnal, but we were having like a thunderstorm and like he came out and he was going through the trash can, he looked super cool, and I was like, oh, that's neat. Uh, bunnies. There's three bunnies that live in my apartment complex somewhere and uh, every day on my little route out of the complex I see those three little bunnies just sitting there playing around or whatever, right? And those same bunnies sometimes they'll come up and they'll, um, you know, like it, like I've seen them on my patio specifically at the apartment complex like a couple times as well. So I just think it's funny that these bunnies are like, it's like everywhere I go they're there too, you know what I mean? So. I thought that was funny. Uh, what else? The other day, I was I was walking around. I saw a field mouse, a field mice. What is a field mouse <laughs> running around? I was like, oh, there's one. Uh, I saw some blue um, dragonflies flying around the other day. Um, I went to the park and I was sitting down the other day and like on this hat, like a butterfly landed right on the brim, you know, and it was just hanging out there and it was hanging out there for like a good couple minutes. I thought that was cool. Um, right outside my window, there's these little uh, mockingbirds that are building a um, nest. There's two of them. So they're like literally as close as they can possibly be to my window and I think it's funny. They also mess with Chad a whole lot and that's awesome. <laughs> um, what else have I seen? Uh, I saw a deer the other day just on the road. This is all within like the last like month or whatever. Uh, I saw a deer the other day. Um, okay, here's a good one. Uh, Millipedes. I saw some millipedes. They were in my room, which is kind of creepy, right? But anyway, I saw these millipedes and actually I googled that one. I was like, what are millipedes for? And it's supposedly it's a sign of good things to come or whatever. And like it was literally like the next day at the office, I go to work and I we won like three jobs that we bid on, which is like pretty rare because we normally only win a job every couple months really, but to win three on one day is like a really big deal. So I was like, wow, powerful millipede or whatever. And then, uh, what else? Oh yeah, spiders. So yeah, that was the other thing. I, I know I've sent this picture to some of y'all. I came out to my truck in the morning last week twice. The exact same spider web was created on my passenger side windshield. And then, you know, obviously I drive, it kind of flies off. And then the next day I get back in my truck, the exact same spider web was there again. I mean, with the same spider and everything. So I was like, wow, that's like, what are the odds or whatever, right? Uh, and then, yeah, let me think, was there anything else that was, that was like just popping into my life? Uh, nothing I could think of, but the last one is, is the craziest one, is basically, uh, I started seeing a lot of cardinals flying all over the place, you know? Oh, there's the bunny right now, <laughs> seriously. I started seeing all these cardinals flying all over the place or whatever, and, uh, I was like, man, what's up with the cardinal thing? And, um, you know, they're just, it, like in just the weirdest places. Oh, like there's the other bunny. I told you. These. Oh, there's the other bunny. Three bunnies. See? <laughs> uh, yeah, those three bunnies. They're always just hanging out over there. But um, anyway, so the cardinals are popping in. And uh, I'm like, man, like I sound like crazy. Even like outside. I have like one window at work. I, I work in like a trailer, like literally. So like there's not a lot to see. But, but there are these uh, a male and a female cardinal all flying around or whatever. I was like, wow, that's cool. And then like I'd be driving, I'd see cardinals, I'd see cardinals. And then it was weird too, because then I realized, I was like, you know what's weird? Like around the house, there's a bunch of cardinal stuff. Because like my roommate, um, I guess like he likes cardinals. So he has like just these little like cardinal things <laughs> throughout the house. And I was like, oh my gosh, there's cardinals everywhere. And then like I looked it up and it basically is, um, uh, it's supposed to mean like a uh, deceased family member is like, yeah, you know, energy is around you. 
And so I was kind of had to laugh at that because uh, my middle name is Harold and Harold is for my grandpa Hagee and my grandpa was basically my mom's stepdad or whatever, right? And I was like, well, that's wild because I'm literally about to be stepping into a stepfather role myself or whatever. So maybe it's just some comforting things. And, at this, and on another note, that's cool about Grandpa Heggy. Although I didn't know him too much because like he passed away when I was still young. Um, I, I got to know him a little bit. Is that uh, he had these 1980 GMC Chevy Blazers that he handed down to my brother and my sister. That was like his thing or whatever, right? And so. I don't know what it was, but a couple, like about last November, I got this really like inkling to buy this truck I'm in right now, which is a 1987 GMC, uh, which would definitely have been like a Grandpa Heggy like uh, classic or whatever, right? So anyway, just like all this like, you know, my name, my middle namesake is like pumping through my veins right now. And I think it's really cool, but um, you know, it's also funny too, cause he was a computer, he was a computer programmer too, you know, back in like, you know, the early days when it was all punch cards and stuff. and. That's what I am too, so you know, I just thought it was really, really wild that all these synchronicities were happening with him. But anyway, that's kind of it. Uh, I don't know if I can think of any other animals. Again, this is just kind of a silly little videos, but I like it when all these like nature occurrences start happening like this, especially when they're just out of the norm. And uh, you know, you just like, you know, you can like Google what these animals mean. Everybody has different theories or whatever, but you know, it's just kind of fun. So anyway. So anyway, yeah, that's it. Um, I will talk to y'all later. Uh, I really like the videos that came up the last two days with Rose and the crystals and Shane's werewolf diet with Daniel. <laughs> so if y'all haven't seen those, go check them out. And uh, yeah, that's it. So um, peace out, guys. Talk to you later.